Alrighty, welcome back. Jonathan here with Boston Collectors. So today we have the Stormtrooper with the Death Star Environmental Collectible set. Now, Stormtroopers aren't really my thing, but you know, I understand the allure of it because I'm more of a clone guy, right? I've got over 35 clones, almost pushing 40, minus the Bad Batch, so I get it. I do. It's just not for me, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it anyway. So let's go ahead and pop on over to Sideshow first. So we have the Stormtrooper with the Death Star environment set at $240. However, what I did think was shocking is that this guy is releasing this year between January 2024 and September of 2024. Now, there are flexible payment options, beginning with the NRD, which is set for $24, but from there, you're looking at $72 beginning this month. Now, I do feel like they could have squoze one more month in there because I doubt we're getting them in June, but, you know, it's sideshow. Now, as we start to move down, they didn't really say where this clone trooper is from, but based on the imagery, which we'll get into shortly, it looked like it's supposed to represent stormtroopers from the Return of the Jedi. So we don't really need the about section. It's what's coming in the box. So we have a body with over 30 points of articulation. Typically, that means 32. We have one pair of fists, a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of rifle holding hands, and one gesture. Y'all know how I feel about hands at this point. It would be nice to have pairs, but the fact that we have three of them already, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Even if I'm not getting it, that's, that's great to see. As far as the costume, we're familiar with it at this point. You got your blaster. But the biggest feature goes to the Death Star environmental diorama, which is LED lit and features a dual-sided display. Let's go ahead and jump into the photos. So here we have the promotional image of the Stormtrooper, which it looks good. You know, I, I can't lie. I do think the wall is a little out of scale, though, but... For the display, it makes sense. I'm not mad at it. It seems as though we're probably going to receive pleather on this, which is unfortunate. I think because they're not using too much material here, they could have made it leather. And from the previous Stormtroopers that I've seen in the past, uh, that white, ooh, it can get pretty yellow. But if you don't mind it, hey, that's on you. For what it's worth, I do think that these are pretty cool when they're all lined up, when they're side by side with each other. It looks great. If it's anything like how it is with the clone troopers, I think this could be really cool in the display. I think for that little bit, they definitely could have gave leather. They did that for uh, Crosshair, which I think he ended up using more than just this holster, so it would have been nice to have. Now, the hands to me look similar to the clone troopers, which makes me wonder if the armor guards come off the same way with the same pattern. So I'll have to see when these release, because if that's the case, then I'm definitely doing a video on that. But apart from that, I do think the, the biggest feature for me goes to the diorama display. Again, because I'm not really a stormtrooper kind of guy. I do think they look cool though, but I like my clones. I think a diorama display for this would have been nice as well, but I'm not mad at it. I think the selling point for a lot of people is the fact that they're already getting a stormtrooper. When was the last time we saw one, right? So here we get to actually see the double-sided display, which it just looks like a textured sticker on the back. If you get a couple of these stormtroopers, it will look cool to sort of make a wall of your own, but I'm not really sure what this protrusion is on the bottom of it. I don't know if this can lift off of it and you can turn it around or not, but um, I'm not really sure what they were going for with this one. Unless, of course, they think people are going to display it on maybe a Lazy Susan or something and there's another Stormtrooper on that side. I don't know. But other than that, I do think the light up feature for it is nice. The Stormtrooper, though, I mean, it's it's a Stormtrooper, you know, um, I don't really have much to add to this discussion in particular. I do think the hands look nice. I'm not really a Stormtrooper enthusiast, but I mean, it looks about as generic as you could get, in my opinion. It's a grunt, so you don't really have much to add here. I do like the weathering, though, on the boots. It looks pretty nice down there. But other than that, I do think it's a it's a decent release for two hundred and forty dollars, though. I don't know. It's uh, I feel like at this point you're paying for the deluxe environment, which is strange that uh, they're saying it's only available in the deluxe version, which Sideshow does not have a deluxe version. So maybe it's only the one that we have here. I'm not really sure what they mean by that, but it is here. So I genuinely do believe you're paying for that Death Star backdrop, which, you know, I think at that point, I would like to put that in your hands and you let me know what you think in terms of the pricing. I'm more of a clones guy. I have a ton of them. So I've, I've, I've got a ton of them. So I know when I feel like I'm, I'm, 
I'm being shook down for my money versus a stormtrooper. I mean, we got to be honest, though, this stormtrooper alone is cheaper than the recent ones that we received. But this feels more 220 in my opinion, but I'll let you all help me out on this one personally. With that said, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Let us know what you think down below in the comment section or now over, which is kind of crazy, but that's a whole nother topic. This is Jonathan with Boston Collectors and thanks for watching.